Hello, my name is Wes and I recently put out a video called Lemons. I ended up with a bunch of extra juggling tricks that didn't make it into the final film, but I still think they're cool tricks. So I thought it would be fun to show you and talk a little bit about the process of making the juggling and making the video, etc, etc, etc. So let's check them out, huh? I mean, why not? So this trick is a little bit tragic because I think it's a good trick and I filmed it for the real video, but I didn't realize how much the quality of that arm swing changes about the trick. Cause you see here, I've added a penguin, but that arm swing to the side is not so big and swoopy. My shoulders are high, so it didn't turn out as good when I filmed this in practice. This is another variation of this elbow circle around the ball with a shuffle instead of this swing. And I had some other variations of that trick that I just felt more and more flowy. This is kind of a cool rhythm one, but uh, having too many of these arm circles in the piece, uh, in the piece, in the video, I felt kind of diluted the best ones. So I tried to keep just the, the best ones. This one, I played around with this idea of the arm doing a pendulum in front of the ball instead of circling around it, which I think is cool and flows, but it's not as, um, interesting a function as the circle around the ball, I don't think. Um, this, this one's exhausting to do, um, but I don't think it, I don't think it looks as cool uh, as it should for some reason. And uh, it's a bit hard to see what's going on in full speed. Here you can see I throw a ball with the same arm that threw it, I go over it and zip one up around it with the other hand. Um, yeah, this is a more readable version of the same thing where I throw a ball and then go around it with the arm that threw. I think somehow these make it feel like I'm trying to force something to be cool. I think I was pumping the, the ballroom music a little bit hard there and just kind of freaking out. I like this start. I think I'll definitely use that in some other thing. It just didn't fit the theme of the video so much. This is kind of more upside down version of the arm going around the ball but that shuffle you see where I switch which ball I hold is a little hard to see so I don't know if this is a trick or not I, I started with this arm waving pattern and tried to, to tried to add the balls I think it looks really cool but the function isn't there so much um, as you can see I'm staring in my iPad as a, as a mirror trying to figure out if this is a trick and here's me doing it pretending to have confidence that it's a real trick I think it's good, but I don't really know. It looks very similar to some of the other ones I do. I like this trick a lot because I was trying to find things that could rotate one way, could rotate the other, and then try to find a moment that bounced in between directions to kind of make like a gif out of that moment. Um, and I think that method could work to find some other tricks. It's just a, a cute little crisscrossy pattern. Um, this yeah, was obviously filmed for the video, but it felt a little bit too obvious that probably someone in Japan already does that a lot smoother. This one I also filmed for the video, but messed up because there's a ball that goes over my arm as I reach under in the real clip. In this one, I, I did it wrong. I kind of forgot how it worked. I'll show in a second the clip side by side and you'll see that in one, I throw a ball over and then reach under to do the exchange later. And in the purple shirt, I just put the hand under and do the little two in one hand underneath the arm. A little bit hard to explain, but. So in the last couple of tricks, I kind of threw a ball to catch in that pocket under my arm. And here I tried to divide that one long ball throw into three little throws to go in there and then circle around. I think it's kind of cool, but I think it needs somebody who flows a bit better or can sell it better somehow than me. Um, I just didn't, uh, I didn't really dive into that world, but I feel like there, there could be more in there of like circling balls into places. I did a little bit of work here trying to like freeze some body parts to make a reason to go around them. I think this was because I've been watching a lot of like electro and tectonic uh, dance videos where they do all these like paths where like one arm moves around the other, then when that one stops, it sets the other one off and trying to make something that had the juggling give that a logic, but I didn't think those ones found it really. I, I, I like that last pattern. The, I, I think my goal was to try to throw to places that weren't traditionally defined, like not under the arm or behind the back, but like to this space and then to that space and see if that 
made anything more unique looking than usual. Um, not, I don't really remember how this one came about. I like this shape, but it's a little bit traditional somehow. Uh, this, all this around the head stuff I'm about to show is as well inspired by these like voguing electronic stuff that like uh, has a lot of like, you know, cutting around the head. And I wanted to find some reason with the juggling to make that not superfluous, not just going around there for no reason, but give it some logic. I need to catch that ball. So the quickest way back is to take it around the head. Um, some of these are, are okay. This one I wish I had filmed from the back. I think it might look better from there. Uh, it looks a little bit too much like a workout, I think. And you know, in the video I do this one pirouette where both arms go around the side of my head and I think that was the most organic version that I found. Um, a few others as, as well that I think worked in the real video. This, this one is, is silly. I don't know why this is in this video. I'm just like doing my hair. Next clip, next clip. Oh yeah, so uh, I worked a bunch on like one and two ball jams to try to get like these interesting paths of my arms and then try to add uh, more balls in. But I, for a while I thought like, oh, maybe I'm gonna do some one ball and two ball stuff in the real video and those couple patterns I, I thought were pretty nice, but it just felt a little weird to, I, I liked the video more when it was all three balls. So that pattern you just saw and this pattern, it's the same basic thing just uh, brought either above the arm catches or below the arm catches. And this is the same pattern, but with five. Um, I, I really like when I find that you can just change some heights and the trick looks super different. Yeah, I thought for a while that the video could have um, four and five ball stuff as well, but I, I like a bunch of these tricks and I think they'll probably be in shows at some point, but I was a little bit sick of multiplexes and I felt like it did more to limit how much I could do with this arm movement stuff that I was more excited about than it did to add to it. So I ended up not researching it so much more, but I'm happy to show you these tricks because I think some of them are pr pretty nifty. Um, so yeah, I thought, well, maybe we can take this multiplex stuff back to the three balls and it'll give more space and more uh, time to work with an empty arm. And in the video, the real one, there's maybe just one or maybe a couple times when I swing my arms through. This one is really satisfying to do. It feels really cool that the ball goes on either side of the arm into this hand that I don't really see until it's caught. But I think it's more fun to do than to watch, unfortunately. Um, yeah, this one, it feels like it takes too much effort, but I like the idea of these two orbits and the variation of that that I used in the real video was the orbit the ball in the air, then orbit the hand. It felt a little bit more unique, but I'm into this like, uh, I don't know what, what to call that. Yeah, just the hands circling each other sort of energy. This one, I think I filmed just too low. It's really hard to see that shuffle in between the crossed arms. I think if I filmed it from higher, it would have been, would have been good. This is obviously a variation of what I do at the start of the video in the circle shots where I shuffle underneath it. That was just the back and forth version. It just felt like a not needed variation. This is one of my favorite tricks ever to do. It feels so nice. I've thought about making a tutorial about this just so you guys can feel how, how it is to juggle it. And, it feels great, but I don't exactly know how to explain it. I've tried to think it out sometimes, but I don't know how to give like a step-by-step -step to learn it. You know, three ball shower is great. I don't know why that one got cut really. This, you only see a shot from underneath for this trick in the actual video. And this is actually one of the hardest ones that I filmed and a real shot of it never ended up in the video. Having my arms crossed with the wrong one in front and doing that not fast enough, keeping the rhythm even was really hard. This one was a bit too similar to one of the last ones in the video, but this one is a bunch easier. Um, so I think I might learn it for a performance someday. Now I thought it could be fun to watch the full video and I could tell you some things about the process of shooting it. Okay, here we go. The original intention of this video was to be a, a section in uh, my next like full length video, like Throw Joy or Gumball. 
Um, but after filming it, it took 10 days to film, you know, a long time to make all the tricks. I was probably editing for a, like 20 days because there was a lot of issues that came up I needed to fix with like little bits of dirt on the screen I needed to edit, edit away and I wasn't sure what to do with the style. And it was just a reminder of how long it takes to make like a good few minutes. And then looking into the next few years, I'm like, I don't have time to make a full video in this style. So I'll just give this away, have fun uh, showing this to the community. And uh, then next time I make a big video, I think I need to work with a, a team, with a, a filmer and a musician and an editor and something to be able to fit it into my life with all the rehearsals and shows and stuff like that. Anyway, some funny things to say about this. You know, obviously it's filmed at a abandoned Toys R Us, which has been empty for about eight years. I filmed this over those 10 days and then two days after I finished filming, I rode by there on my bike and they were tearing down the sign and redoing it to be a different store. Crazy timing. So, so good luck I finished filming when I did. Um, uh, another piece of good luck is that I just found that car tire there. I had in my notes for filming like find some site specific stuff to do um, and I found that car, car tire. Made a couple like okay tricks but then when I was watching those back I was like I want these to be at the same level of uh, integrity as the real three ball juggling so I went home and wrote a bunch of tricks and tried to take those more seriously and I'm really glad they did because now I'm pretty interested in uh, car tire and ball juggling. After I filmed a couple of them I was so into the tire juggling I got like paranoid that someone would take the tire so I used a bike lock to lock up the tire so I was sure it would be there when I came back. Um, and oh yeah this sign also I, I filmed this I think three different days because I did it once where the ball bounced off my chest into the juggling and another one where I just kind of hit the balls with my hands and I didn't think those were clean enough and I'm, I'm glad that I figured out that I could do the kick because I think it, it looks much much better. Um, I, can, I can say about these, uh, these juggling balls, I got them in Chile from a company called um, VM Pelotas. There was a super sweet guy, I believe it's his mom that makes the beanbags, was at um, this juggling circus convention that I was at, that he offered me some balls for free and I was like, these are cool, and I saw the yellow ones on his table, I'm like, oh, those look incredible, and uh, I, I love them, they really like sit in your hand no matter how you catch them and they're really easy to clean also i just use um like some laundry detergent on them this front roll oh my god that was the scariest one to film for sure i was like i don't want to try this more than once like it hurts so much when you land so i i think i only did it three times i just tried to focus crazy this is probably my favorite tire trick though i think it's really beautiful the way the loops in your lock yeah, this is the, the biggest surprise of the video and stressed me out so much when I broke this thing. What? But, uh, but it's okay, because like I said, they were like tearing down and redoing it. So when I went by, those uh, all are completely new. So they were gonna take them down anyway. Um, I think it's coming up the, the hardest trick in the video. Um, yeah, just after this, it's like this swoop where I flip the ball back underneath the ball. And that one definitely took the longest to film. And that's probably the only trick in the video that I think I, I you know, wouldn't want to perform. So it's very difficult and you have to be very fast and very uh, detailed. Um, yeah, this is, this is the nicest one because I think you, you just need to move quick. It's not so precise. You just need to remember to bend your arms in the right way. And I like it a lot. And these are some bees you can look at and think about who you want to be. That's it. Hope you found that reasonably fun to watch and remember to not subscribe to this channel, but to go to the information for this video and check out the channels that I linked to. They're all awesome jugglers and deserve way more subs and not only sandwiches, but also subscribers. If you have any cues or homework, put them in the comments and I'll give them all A's. And thank you for watching. I hope you have a pretty okay day. Bye.